All right, CDI boxes. You can see the size difference in these three right here. This unit is basically the 2000 to 2002 uh, triples, and it's like I say the the uh, 800s uh, in thousands for those years. The 900s were discontinued uh, going into 98, 1998. This is the uh, infamous uh, 1993 CDI box here. Everybody always wants to know what it looks like and so forth. It's the only one from 1993 to 1990. Nine. That's a little bit larger, and it's got the two ribs across it here. No other box looks like that. This is a typical box you'll see off of like 1995 up through 1999. This is a typical size. This one here is actually a CU 2545, which was on the 1998 to 1999 uh, triple cats. So now. And like I say, dimensionally, size-wise, you can kind of see the difference in all of these. Now, what can you mix and match? Why? Why not? Long story short, I'll say this a couple times. What you can do is 1993 through 1997 had closed ignitions. And for those years, you know, the stator and the flywheel and everything I showed you, those work with those models. 1998, 1999, that's when they started the open loop systems. And then in 2000, they went to the 3D ignition systems. You can put a 1993 through 1999 ignition system on a 2000 to 2002 model. You have to change the whole ignition. You have to change the stator, the flywheel, the stator mounting plate and the CDI box to do that but you can do that now what will happen is if you use the old ignition which is 1993 through 97 on a 2000 to 2002 your key will work backwards if you use a CDI box from 98 to 99 those are open ignition CDI boxes and your key will work in the correct direction so you could use a 93 through 97 stator, stator mounting plate, flywheel, and then use a 1998 CDI box on a 2000 model, and your key will work correctly. Now, let's go the other way with it. Can you use uh, a, a, a newer, the 2000 to 2002 ignition on an older cat? Yes, you can, but one of the major differences with the 2000-2002 is they have a TPS switch, which is your throttle position switch. And the throttle position switch is this little honey right here. If that throttle position switch needs to go to your carburetors, and the carburetors have that throttle position switch on them. So, if you're going to use a 2000-2002 ignition on a... An older model, a 1993 through 1999, you have to use the carburetors also so you can use that throttle position switch. Now, you will also have to use that entire ignition. You will have to use the stator, the stator mounting plate, and the, uh, the, the CDI box with it. So you have to use in the flywheel too. So you'll have to use everything with it. I know all this is a little bit confusing, but... In a nutshell, 2000 through 2002, you basically have to use that ignition complete. You can't swap out any parts. You can't put a 1995 stator in it. You can't put a 97 flywheel on it. You have to use that entire ignition. And along with the carburetor TPS switch, you need that to go with it. You can use the older ignition on the 2000 through 2002 sleds. That's what I do. I use a complete 1993 ignition. I have the CDI box, the flywheel, the stator, the flywheel mounting plate. The two things that are universal between the triples, and that's the 800s, 900s, and 1000s, are the coils, and when I say coils, those are the coils that go, that your spark plug wires plug into. So the coils, the triple coils, and the trigger, the pulser coil. Now those three things or those two things are universal. The one thing that's universal to all the triples, the sixes, the eights, the nines, and the thousands, are the coils. You can use any of those coils on any triple of any year. Those are all the same. 
So, I hope this uh, helps uh, clear up confusion. If you have uh, questions, go ahead and uh, post them in the uh, comments below or go ahead and uh, send me an email. But uh, that should help guys that they're not sure which component they have, you know, which, which coil I have, which, which uh, I shouldn't say coil, help them figure out which stator I have, which uh, flywheel I have. Because I've talked to a handful of guys, they have the wrong flywheel with the wrong stator. And they wonder why their sled doesn't run, run right. And now I have a video where they can at least take a look at the differences. You guys can go ahead and do some quick measurements so you can see thickness you know, differences and, and um, flywheel uh, uh, magnets and so forth so you guys can do some of this diagnostic work on your on your own stuff now so like I say if you have questions email me or uh, post in the comment section below and I'll uh, try to set you straight on everything this has been Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric thank you very much